keys and high frequencies everybody on this beautiful beautiful day in october october the 6th 2022 um i have last week i did a cleanse of just fruit only thing i ate was fruit and then this week i had someone reach out to me that's working on trying to lose a hundred pounds so i'm helping her she's a friend of the family so i put her on this uh cleanse and this flush that i do twice a year and i hadn't done it so i was like let me get this done again uh, before the end of the year because i hadn't done it since the beginning of the year and um i've been doing that all of this week um, so I haven't been with cooked foods or uh, you know eating out and all that kind of stuff I cleansed out my system and done a complete flush and evacuation of my liver and my gallbladder and cleansing out mucus I'm just working on all of that and I can tell from the clarity of thought, like my, 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 my mind and my thought and my connection um, to higher thoughts are better. I have more clarity. It's, it's cleaned up my mind and my, the way I would process things is more in alignment with divinity. Um, it's not doing things based on what I want to do. It's doing things based on what is the very best and the highest vibration that I should do. Um, taking out my emotion and only implementing the alignment and how do I stay in alignment with divinity, with my highest self, as people would call it. Um, and so that has been what's going on. A lot of things I've had to clear out and clean out during this cleaning process um, that I know is not good for me. I've also been more diligent in cleaning up and keeping my space clean, you know, in my home and my vehicle. I had to have somebody come out and clean my car. Um, as I've been going through this process, I've learned that I can't have this around me like my space and my area wherever I am has to be clean because I'm ushering in those higher frequencies and if I'm saying higher frequencies those frequencies have to be clean <laughs> right when we heard that when we was uh, younger growing up mama or grandmama or somebody would be saying cleanliness is next to godliness <laughs> although I don't subscribe to using that word but I would say cleanliness is next to divinity it's next to um, living a divine and, and higher life right and that's what I've been feeling and last night I can't even really recall I couldn't down a tree or something I can't even recall my dream that much. Like I'm getting bits and pieces of things that happened, but I remember the separation. And then I remember what I am calling it is babysitting the avatar. So I remember removing the consciousness from this realm, meshing in with the subconscious mind and going into another realm, another dimension. But a part of me, a part of my conscious mind was still here babysitting my physical body or babysitting my avatar. And I remember, I remember seeing things in the dream and I remember seeing my body lay down in the bed, you know, just there as it was like a part of me was making sure that everything was going right with the physical form 
while I was doing work or having this experience in another realm. Now, this is the first time that I've been here and there at the same time. Normally, when I go to sleep, you know, I go to sleep, I'm gone, and I'm having a remote viewing, or I'm on a different plane, or, you know, I'm just out of here. It's not, I'm still seeing, being, seeing my body here, and being somewhere else. Like, seeing two separate things go on. That was the first time that has ever happened to me. And I don't know if anybody else has had that experience where they've able, been able to dream and go through this dream realm. And while you're still dreaming, you're still seeing your physical body here, doing whatever it is doing, whether if, if it's sleeping or if it's sitting in meditation or whatever. But have you all been able to be in those different spaces at the same time? And it'll be you know in that middle state I feel like I was I feel like I was and I I just it's clear clear as day like seeing myself just lay down and be asleep and then also seeing what's going on in the physical form it's like watching two TVs at the same time it's like I was connected to the physical body making sure it was okay but still having the experiences go on so yeah that was I'm still processing the dream. Um, it was um, quite weird. And I'm not going to share it because I don't know uh, who it may be for. And I'm not being led to share it. Um, it may just be something or someone that I end up connecting with. I feel like that that message that I receive is going to be for because it was a couple and it was uh, some type of disconnect with this couple but I was having a remote viewing of everything that was going on and so yeah um, I really got on here to share that if you follow my post one of the things that came to me today while I was laying in the bed after doing the evacuation and cleansing myself and everything and just relaxing um, was the word God and I know people use that word all the time. People ask you, well, you know, you don't do this, you don't go to church, you don't all this and that. But do you believe in God? <laughs> you know, and I think people have gotten so much in the habit of saying that that they don't even know what they're talking about. And at this point, I blame them for not knowing. I blame myself for not knowing. I blame myself for not researching more. And we can't fully do that. We can't fully research and get into everything that we are supposed to know until we cleanse out the good. Every time I go through my good cleanse, I receive higher frequency information. You're not going to be able to go into the depths of what you need to know still eating fried foods, restaurant foods. I talked about the last night about the lady spitting in her batter at Chick-fil-A. You're not going to be able to get there like that. You got to detach yourself. Um, and for a lot of a lot of people, food is an attachment. But food is an attachment and it's also warfare. And they are able to drop in chemicals into this food that controls your gut. If you can control somebody's gut, you can control their thoughts. Because everything is going to leach out in the gastrointestinal system because that's where it pulls out and pulls the nutrients to create new cells. So you may not even understand or feel like that's the case for you, but it is. 
and you'll be like well god you know i ain't talking about like religion god i ain't talking about you know god like in terms of jesus and all of that you know i'm just talking about the all-knowing supreme you know from a spiritual perspective and i posted a video on black fit witch page instagram that gave y'all a snippet of seven bomar understanding in which he brought us this message about five or six months ago earlier this year where he broke down God which is really goo which is really Odin which is from Norse mythology which comes from German paganism all right and when you're calling in and you're utilizing the word God, you're also calling in these deities and these energies from this German pagan belief or mythology. You're bringing that in. You're calling that in. And you have to understand, you know, and Gothic and good and ooh, like what all, what does all of this mean? in German paganism. Do you know what it means? They took that word and put it into the Bible. So they took that and put it into the biblical text. And this is the God that you're calling upon. This is the God that you worship. This is the God that people are associating themselves with when you talk about you know, we go to church, you raise your hand, and oh, we were, uh, you know, all of that. And you don't have no damn clue what you're talking about. And these people have been able to get over on us for thousands and thousands of years. And we still in the dark, in the blind, and when everything is right in plain fucking sight, for you to go on Google with a couple of taps and research what the fuck you saying instead of scrolling on TikTok and social media, liking posts and laughing and shit. Ain't no time for hee hee ha ha no more, y'all. We're in a fucking spiritual war, okay? <laughs> We should have saw it when they did that they dropped that bullshit in 2020. We should have saw it when they dropped it in 20. If wasn't nobody woke, they ought to woke up then. Because people were scared. Folks was all shaking up. I was at the house chilling. I was like, man, I got this much rest in forever. I'm, man, yes. Okay. It's cool with me. You know, I got to spend more time with my family, blah, blah, blah. Because I already know what they do and what they pull. You know, and I'm led more and more to research more and more about all the rest of the things that I don't know for them to be re uncovered and revealed to me. Because I don't want to be saying things, doing things, acting out things that I don't know that is lowering my frequency. Because when I say higher frequencies, that is meant for me and you and everybody that's in tune with the light as light beings and star seeds that want that higher frequency understanding and knowing. And they don't want to go with just to get along, go along, to get along, like they say. Just to be a part of what everybody say. Just because they have indoctrinated the minds of almost every person in this world to call upon God and call upon Jesus you know to say all this stuff and you don't even know who the hell you calling on because most of us that people that look like me this was put into our mindset from slavery because we couldn't practice what we were doing from our 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 indigenous practices we couldn't do that and i know everybody ain't from africa and everybody ain't from here and we're from everywhere i understand that i understand that i understand that a lot of people are already here on this land that they call america that's really kimmy i understand that but our indigenous practices 
they didn't understand they couldn't get and even when you take i was looking it up when you look at the word god even in sanskrit it's the word who h u who h u who whatever you pronounce it and it means to invoke invoke evoke all of that and I was like, in the Sanskrit word for God is who? Meaning to invoke and evoke. So when you say God, you're doing a lot of things across the board. I really want you all to take the time to look at how to exit the matrix on Inner Standings page by Seven Bomar. I'm gonna link it below in the description box so you all can click on it and go and check it out. It's a three-hour video, so you got to have some time to listen to them. But not only listen to them, go and do your own research. Go and do your own research as well. All right? Because, see, they wrote these books. They wrote these books. Them. Yeah, you know them. They wrote the books that we read. And... It has to be in plain sight. And when my spirit don't sit well with something or like right now, I've been saying now I've reached to another level in my vibration. It ain't sitting right no more. And I'm just like, mm, I'm going to say that. And then I had somebody earlier this week and I told them, you know, I don't go to church out of that. Well, do you believe in God? You know, there'd be people first go to. Hey, you believe in God then? They still trying to hold on to some part of the spell to see if you still attached to this spell some type of way. They want to make sure you still attached to the spell some type of way. Do you believe in God? If you believe in God, then okay. Because see, that's still spell work when people ask you that. And if you're saying yes, and you don't really actually know what entity energy that you're calling forth when you okay that because i talked about that last night you liking and okaying and loving and liking and stuff and saying yes to these things posting that and whatnot and people ask you questions because you're not when people ask you stuff and i've gotten to a point to really know this i am not talking to a physical person avatar I'm talking to a spirit and an energy soul essence person too. I'm talking to, that's why I'm really uh, adamant about looking people in their eyes when I talk to them. Because I need to know who I'm talking to. I'm like, I need to know who I'm talking to. What am I talking to? Because spirits and energies recognize me and I recognize they ass fucking too. I recognize they ass too. I know you, you know me. Yeah, we this ain't our first rodeo. Hey, yeah. <laughs> okay. I know you. I may not be even be able to verbalize what you may be or where you're from, but I know the energy. I know the energy. I feel it. I know it. So when somebody's asking you, when you're going through your spiritual practice and you're going through your spiritual journey y'all and you know family members and friends that who are still ignorant and blind and under the spell you know and haven't taken the time to research and then they don't want to hear you out because they feel like what you're doing is witchcraft which they don't even know what witchcraft is i know my mama had told my nephews and my and my family years ago before she transitioned that i was practicing witchcraft so my nephew came to me and he was like yeah she um and she said, you practice some witchcraft. I said, I am. I am. <laughs> so let me tell you what witchcraft actually is. Because I want you, I'm not going to give you anything that's not based on any type of foundation and ignorance and lack of understanding and knowledge. I want you to know what actual witchcraft is from the perspective of what I do. And there's different types of witches out there, y'all different types of witches that practice all different types of shit jobs. So know who you fucking with. Know who you're fucking with. There's all different types of witches and warlocks. Everybody got all different types of rituals and things that they do. You can tell when you when you talk to them and there you go into their house. I tell people when you go to somebody's house they tell you everything you need to know. 
it tell you everything you need to know. You either going to feel good or you going to feel like, I got to get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Know what you're calling on. When people are trying to validate you and ask you, do you still believe in God and all of that, they still trying to keep you snapped under that spell. So then I like to ask people, so what does that mean? What is, what does, what is God? What does that mean? You tell me what it means. And then a lot of people who don't know things, they try to flip it. And they'll say, no, nah, you tell me. No, nah, you tell me because you asked the question. So I need to see if there's something that I can agree with. If you know what the actual meaning of the word that you're asking me before I can agree with it. So don't get me to saying yes to something that you you may have a thought process or a belief or understanding or knowing of. I need to know if that's in alignment with who I am and my soul essence. If it ain't alignment with who I am, I can't agree to it. So you share you share with me. Cause see, people don't be ready for you to come with real information and be stern on who the fuck you are. And you gotta be like that with energies and entities. And that's probably why a lot of y'all have nightmares. A lot of y'all have nightmares because you won't stand up to your full power, your full potential. Once you go in and you are in your full power and full potential, ain't nothing gonna scare you nowhere. Nothing gonna scare you nowhere. Don't nothing scare me nowhere, y'all. And no realm and no dimension. I done fought against demons and dragons and all type of stuff in different realms and reality. I done had shapeshifters. I done had demons morph in my face. I done saw real demons morph in my face, change shape in my face like vivid as fuck in a dream, y'all. I've, I've done it and I stood toe to toe with their ass. Like, you don't scare shit out of me, bitch. What? You gotta be like that with their ass. Cause if you want, ain't, they just as powerful and they know it. That's the difference. They know it, you don't. So, that's what I wanna share with y'all. Stand in your power. Do you really know? Do you really know what God? <laughs> Do you really know? Or is it just something you just saying? Because everybody been saying it and they say it at the church and it's you da 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 and it's this, this, and that, that, and that. And you really don't even know. So, I want to share that with y'all today. So, I'm going into the bank. <laughs> so, I'm going to leave you all in peace. And high frequencies.